Hi, you're watching part of a series on creating more accessible Word documents. This video demonstrates how to make tables more accessible. Let's look at this table in my example document under class schedule. Sighted users can quickly identify the column headers and use them to interpret the table. For those who can't see the table, however, we need to include non-visual formatting with the column headers so they can interpret the table too. Column headers that are properly formatted provide structure in tables in the same way that heading styles provide structure in the text of the document. They provide information necessary to navigating the table for assistive technology users. Using formatted column headers also benefits sighted users, and I'll show you how in a minute. I'd like to make my table more accessible. To add non-visual formatting with the column headers, I can select the header row or you can just click anywhere in the header row. It doesn't have to be highlighted. Look for the table tools section that's been added in the menu row and then click on the layout tab under table tools. That presents a data group and you want to select repeat header rows. Notice that nothing looks different, but we have just added formatting helpful to assistive technology users. I mentioned that this also helps sighted users. Here's how. Adding this formatting also tells Word to repeat the header row at the top of the next page if there's a page break. Let me add a few blank lines here. And if we zoom out a little bit, Now you can see that there's a page break in the middle of the table, and Word added the column headers for us on the second page so we didn't have to. My example document has a second table. You notice in column one that the homework cell actually spans two rows, and the exams and projects cells span multiple columns. A table with these features is called a complex table, and a complex table can't be made accessible in Microsoft Word. When possible, I recommend that you redesign a complex table so you end up with one or more simple tables, like the previous example that was a simple table. Every table benefits from having a descriptive title or summary that explains why it's there. The purpose is to provide the reader with a context for understanding the information contained in the table. This is especially important for non-sighted users. The title or summary will be most helpful by placing it so it is read before the table. In our example one table has a descriptive title, class schedule, and example two table has a descriptive summary. Homework exams and projects will be weighted as follows. This has been how to make tables more accessible.